live here on the Fox 5 Backlot. They're putting me to, uh, putting me to work this morning, <laughs> gardening, let's say. Uh, good morning, everyone. So I guess the question this morning is, how are your plants doing with summer here? It's definitely heating up. Tiger Palafox with Mission Hills Nursery is here with some good tips to keep your yard looking fresh all summer long. Tiger, good meeting you. Good morning. Yeah, my pleasure. And you know, we live in San Diego. Yeah. And come on, let's be real. We need to get outside 12 Absolutely. months out of the year. Absolutely. Don't let the summer heat kind of deter you from going out right. in the garden working with your plants. So we're going to give you some tips on how to be successful in the summertime. So, and I just asked you too, before we went live here, since it is getting so hot, is right now maybe the best time to plant? I wouldn't say it's the best time to okay. plant. The best time to plant in Southern California is the fall. We're right. getting into the cooler weather. We're going to have some rain, all of that kind yeah. of stuff. But you still can plant in the summer. There's just some things that you need to know, and we're going to kind of cover some of those tips right now this you morning. You kind of have to go about it a certain way, yes. right? Okay, so what exactly. are those ways? What are we talking well, about today? You know, first off, let's just talk about your own protection, right. right? When you're out there in the summer heat, it's hot, it's sunny, maybe wear a hat, put on some sunscreen. We just did a sunscreen segment, too. I know, so exactly. probably chatted with her. Exactly. Uh, you got to wear the sun hat, folks. Yes, you're right. You cannot forget good. that. It looks yeah, good. You should keep it on. Ones. There's fun ones, right? <laughs> um, but no matter what, you know, when you are planting out in the summertime, there's things that you got to consider. First okay. off, my biggest tip is when you have a new plant, big or small, you want to make sure you water the plant in the pot. Oops. And let Real it drain. Well, okay. And let it soak in that root ball because that way you ensure that the roots are wet when you're planting. You don't want to plant a dry plant because chances are it won't re-wet in there and then the plants will die real quickly. Gotcha. So okay. water the plant well, maybe even water the hole that you're planting it in. Make sure it's uh, nice and moist when you're planting so it. So just giving it some moisture before you actually plant it or do it the other way if you plant it. Okay. Exactly. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, mulches, so down in the front we've got a green bag here that's a planting mix. That's what we mix with our soil to be able to uh, um, plant in it, right. gives the roots nutrients, also has things that absorb water which hold it near the root ball. Mulches are things that we put on top, so bark, this um, garden straw, that keeps moisture in the ground, doesn't allow ah. it to evaporate very right. well. Um, worm castings and organic fertilizers up here on the table here, those are good fertilizers because they don't burn the plants. You got to be real careful in the summertime because if you use chemical fertilizers, because it's hot, you, you can actually possibly burn. burn. I never even thought about exactly. that. Exactly. So organics don't burn roots. They don't burn the plants. So you can kind of use those okay. to fertilize and r not uh, risk burning your plants. There are so many things to know, of course, when you're in terms of planting. Someone's at home probably saying, well, how do I not kill my plants? No, okay. <laughs> that's probably like That's probably yeah. a good question, yeah, right? Yeah. I guess what's the number one thing to keep in mind, uh, especially during these hot months? So watering. Okay, that's probably the biggest reason why people kill plants is watering, either over or under. Best time of year to water, or best time of day to water is early morning early or morning. even even like um, midnight kind of a thing. Okay. It allows the moisture to go in the ground. There's less wind, less drift. It allows the plants to absorb it before it evaporates. You're getting maximum use of the water in the ground. Right. So, so early morning or evening watering is really important. And then the other thing too is just making sure that the plants are in the appropriate areas. You know, we have this wonderful lavender here in front of you that likes the sun. It's not going to want to go in the shade. In the it's shade. not going to grow well in the shade. It might so, look pretty <laughs> in, in your home, but it's not an indoor plant, right? Exactly, okay. exactly. So knowing where the plants need to be, so that way you can ensure that they're going to grow healthy and strong as well. So watering and then knowing the right plants are probably the biggest tips. How is the nursery going, Mission Hills Nursery? Are you seeing more people during summer months, or is it kind of slowing down because if people are like, yeah, it's hot? You know, you know, it's funny because, you know, we've got this pushback in spring. You know, we had all those cloudy days. Yeah. So people are coming out now. They're gardening. They're putting their, um, you know, vegetables in. They're putting their herb gardens yep. in. So, yeah, we're seeing a, a, an uptick in people come out and take a look at the plants. Listen, nothing makes me happier and more exciting to see plants and people <laughs> taking care of their yards. It's just yeah. so vibrant, especially here in San Diego. Uh, before I let you go, I think about 30 seconds left. Any other tips or, or must say? Yeah. Advice. So, so definitely go to your local garden center and ask them for the information. Okay. Because we are getting into the summertime, this is the time of year where you could plant a plant and it could die within Absolutely. a couple of days. Absolutely. But if you go to a garden center, there's a professional there. They're going to help you make sure that it grows and do the right things that that way you know it's going to grow later we on. We got to love our plants. You know, we got to treat them right. Yes. Don't kill your plants, exactly. folks. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Tiger Palafox with yeah. Mission Hills Nursery. Uh, any other information? I guess they can go see you, right? Yeah. Essentially. Essentially. Nursery. Yeah. <laughs> Mission Hills Damn. Nursery. You're watching the Fox 5 Morning News, guys. We'll be right back.